Hi everybody, it's Tina here from Hummingbird Tales. Um, it's been a long while since I've shared um, any journal that I've made. Um, <coughs> you have to excuse me for coughing. Um, I've actually, over Christmas, come down with illnesses and all as you know. And this lovely journal that I've made is actually for Crafty Irina. Um, and poor Crafty Irina has had to wait until now for me to finish it. So thank you so much for that. Um, and I want to share it with you. So it is a Christmas themed. The closure is a piece of chiffon ribbon or a ganza ribbon. And I'm just going to stand up. The cover is this lovely overlay lace. And I've put it over some gold fabric. So it's a hard cover and it all hangs down here. And this is the side. <laughs> And I've got all these little charms of different bits and pieces hanging off it, snowmen and little snowflakes and things. There's tabs, you name it, it's got it. And I've put a book plate on the front. I've used some gilding wax just to pick up a bit of the detail with some gold. And it's got Christmas on there. So if I make sure I am in frame before I sit down, okay, and this is it. So this kit I used is Cardinal Rose by Artie Mays, and this is the first signature. I've got three signatures. There's a lot of sewing in here. All of the tags have been sewn, and I've done a lot of experimenting with pockets and glassine bags, layering, and some layering down here. I think, yes, there's a, there's a little pocket in front and then there's a pocket in the back. This is all gold leaf. I am going to zoom through this um, because I don't want to go over my time and I'll just go through as quickly as I can. But, <coughs> excuse me, there's one of these charms. This here is an envelope that I just knock the camera that opens and inside I've put some music paper. Everything has been coffee dyed or backed with coffee paper. This is a piece of Edith Holden here that has been folded over and sewn to make a little pocket for some tickets. And that's got a little tip in there. Here's a pocket I've layered up with some bits and pieces. And we've got photograph and one of the tags from the kit. And like I said, I did a lot of sewing on this and I, I thoroughly enjoyed doing this. I just wish that I finished it a lot earlier so Irene could have received this before Christmas. So um, it looks like next Christmas is gonna be when she actually gets around to using it but it was still an absolute joy to make. So we plod on. And here is a little tuck spot here. I didn't put um, everything in tuck spots because I wouldn't have been able to shut the book. But that goes like that. And on the other side, there's one there. So that little ticket lives back in the bag. And there's lots of stamping in this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I love this one. The little houses and the tree. And here I've used some graphic 45 paper and this flips up and flips down. I love graphic 45. Oh, and here hidden is one of the journaling cards from the kit. This is a flip up, flip down, all made with ribbon. And there's um, Heart for Herald Angel Sing, a little tag there. And beautiful picture of some little children, vintage. Here's a Brad where I've attached some of these um, old fashioned Christmas decorations. I've kept these um, strings quite long because I don't know if Crafty Irina wants to add charms or anything. And this is a little envelope from the kit. And inside we've got little 
tiny piece of, well, this was one of the pages that I shrunk down. And you know me, I love the little tiny things. <laughs> so that goes in that centre of that signature. And this has got Believe on it. And here we have a tag. Again, I've used um, an embossing folder that went quite well with this kit and some Graphic 45 paper. And the Graphic 45 paper, by the way, was um, a pad that Steena Swanson got for me from America. So thank you so much, Steena. I've used it in this journal. Um, and it went perfectly. So here we have another fabric pocket, which I've layered up with some gems and bits and pieces. There's another whoop, little tag, um, charm, with a little bow. Here's another paper bag. And that little mason jar sits there, but you can also tuck in here. So that's one of Artie Mays's um, Cardinal Rose jam jar, mason jars that I've shrunk down. And here we have another envelope. And in here we have some tickets, all from the kit. Um, the pages are just beautiful from this kit. They really, really are stunning and I thoroughly enjoyed working with it. This is a cardinal here that I found um, on some fabrics. So I cut him out and made like a little frame with some card and stuck him on here. And this is from the kit. This was supposed to be my design team project for December. Um, and it still is, <laughs> December the 25th on there. All layered up with some um, Graphic 45, one of the pockets, and there's a little boy with a Christmas tree. The rest of the Edith Holden paper. Here's a belly band I made with some trim and ribbon and um, some gold applique and that's made from some of the paper in the kit, from the backing papers, which are absolutely stunning, Andrea. Here's another little charm. Let me just check the time. I'm standing up, knocking the thing. Okay, we're all right. Here's a little girl, another little picture there, and I've actually decoupaged this and left some of it open, so you've got several tuck spots going on here. And over here we have a flip up and flip down. And I did some stamping here. Joy Noel, ho ho ho. That was a new stamp I bought this year. And I put loads of little snowflakes around on that page. And here's a little ticket I made from matching ribbon from here, this pocket. And that's one of the spools that I've put some um, it's not actually tinsel, it is um, eyelash trim. It's very soft. It does look like tinsel though, I might have got that wrong. So, Here's Santa with his reindeer. I put some um, washi tape here. Here's another, this is one of the, it's um, a file folder from the kit and I've actually turned it into a pocket and there's another one of the pages that I shrunk down. And I've layered that up with some fabric. And I will just show you this. Um, on the back page here, I use the banners and I've kept them all so that everything is a tuck spot, but I left it because I thought it looked so pretty and quite animated, so I've not put anything there. So, Irene, you can put something here. Second signature, eyelash trim. Here we have a bag, which has a tag in, again, back onto coffee paper or card and I've made a little tuck here with a little journaling card that I shrunk down and put a ticket there and here we have another tuck spot that I've made with um, some fabric again that I've um, can you see this some fabric again that I've um, put onto a doily and I've made these like little card um, frames so that was all cut out of a die and there's lots of stamping here and on this side there's another little tuck there and here we've got a little tuck made with ribbon and inside I've put the file folder from the kit and again I've put tickets in I've used tickets quite a lot in here 
because um, I knew Irene wanted to use these for pictures, this journal, so I didn't want to put too many big things in. This is a glassine bag that I've made into a pocket and I've used graphic 45 paper and here is a little tag that I've made with um, a charm and inside the pocket is, I believe, this is um, again a couple of pages from the kit that I've shrunk down or it's a journaling spot. I can't remember now because I did cut these out a while ago. So that goes in there. And here we have another tuck spot. Let's see if I can get that out. So something can tuck up under here. And this was gifted to me by, I think it was either Andrea Allen or it was Janet Hicks. I can't remember because those two lovely ladies gave me some happy mail. And this was already made up in the happy mail and I just thought it was so beautiful it had to go in this journal. So thank you very much for that, ladies. I do use what I'm given. And we have a doily and here we have some vellum. The vellum has got, I'll just stand up and show you, um, snowflakes on and I printed the little house scene across the top and left it plain, okay. And then we've got another card or tag in one of the pockets from the kit. I've edged everything in white and gold and red. And this one says, when a cardinal appears in your yard, it's a visitor from heaven. And I thought that was beautiful. And as the kit is called Cardinal Rose, I just thought that went really well. And there's a picture of some cardinals and some other little birds on a card. So it sits in there. And we've got some graphic 45 paper from the um, Winter Wonderland kit that Stina got me. And on this side, this was actually a die cut from an old Christmas card. And I've just put it on the back of some embellishment. And 